Hey guys, I just kind of wanted to share with you quickly how to do these museum tours. So, um, I love this website because it gives you tons of different museums you can look at uh, virtually for this project. So, um, this is my teacher view of the screen, but if you click on the link here, you will be able to see all of the different museums. Um, the list isn't that long, but there are a ton of museums to look at, which is really nice. Um, I did list a bunch of my favorite ones, the ones I have been, been to and visited. Um, ones I haven't visited that have a really good collection are the Guggenheim Museum. Um, that one is awesome. I've been meaning to go there for a while, but I haven't. Um, if you like French artists, Musée d'Orsay is a really good place to look. Um, they have Monet, Cezanne, Gauguin, and a bunch of Impressionist painters that use the pointillism and dots and brushstrokes to create their work. So that is pretty cool. Um, one of my favorite, favorite museums I've ever been to is the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. Um, it says here it has the largest collection of artworks by Van Gogh, um, including paintings, drawings, and letters that he had written with his uh, to his brother Theo. So interesting. Um, the Louvre in Paris is also a very incredible museum. Highly recommend that one. Um, the Getty in LA is also pretty great. Um, I don't think I included that one in my little list in the description, but I'm going to click on the Uffizi Gallery in Florence because um, even though Renaissance art isn't my favorite, it definitely hits me in a way because back in a time where a lot of people didn't have technology and they were just exploring how to create depth in their paintings, these people were still able to create some beautiful things. So Renaissance artwork to me is quite interesting because they used a lot of value and people were just starting to figure out how to create depth in their work. Um, one of the ones I remember seeing in the Uffizi Gallery is a painting by the Lorenzo Lorenzetti brothers. Um, it is this painting right here. Um, is a lot i told you guys in class a lot of the renaissance artwork that was looked at was uh, religious paintings a lot of the times people had uh, madonna and child or different kinds of uh, views of jesus so um this is one of those paintings i'm going to go ahead and write an interpretation of what i think is happening um don't forget to include in your um google document that you will turn in all of the information that i have included right here okay guys um i want two paragraphs a minimum of three sentences explaining what you think the artwork means, what the artist intended by the work, and general reactions or personal corrections to the artwork. Um, please include the following information, name of the painting, artist, what museum it's in, and copy and paste a picture of the artwork from Google. So um, after you go here, tour the museum a little bit, and find a work that you would like to interpret, you can go ahead and create your document. So I have my teacher example here that I'm currently creating. When you look up a picture, you can simply copy and paste the one from um, Google if you have a screen capture thing on your computer. Otherwise, you can just, uh, you know, maybe uh, grab this title here. Well, it won't work completely for the title, but that's okay. I can copy paste it and maybe just try to find um, an image here. So, typing that in, bam, just get an image copy and paste it and you should be all good okay so um this really concludes my uh how to on this project um if you guys have any further questions go ahead and let me know and be sure to check out my teacher example because i will be filling that out uh right now so thank you very much guys and uh i'll talk to you later